Hello everybody and welcome to Matt Fry Golf. So I'm down here at Stockport Golf Club today and I'm joined by Dave again. Welcome back. Good to Hi, see Matt. you. Yeah, good to see so you. So if you haven't already seen mine and Dave's videos, Dave won the competition to have some lessons with me this year and we're trying to get you down for the Lynx Golf Cup. That's what we do. Yes. We've had one lesson. If you haven't seen it, click up here. You will be able to watch that video back. We looked at Dave's pitching last time. Yes. Found an improvement. Big time, yeah, absolute massive improvement to what I was doing before. Yeah, Excellent. You know, it's going where I wanted to go for a change now. Yeah, you know. consistency of strike was a big issue. Yes, lots of facts beforehand. Few oh, things. yeah, yeah, yeah. Few, few things, few facts, few rights, few lefts, few opens, few ups, few downs, whatever. We yeah. had them all. Yeah, we had we them did. all. And, and you feel like now you've made that change and yes, you're yeah, feeling more consistent. Would you say would it be a word to describe it? Yes, I mean, I, I'm not a hundred percent consistent yeah. i'm not going to say that but, but it progress. is a lot more yeah yeah, yeah. we're up 80 90 percent yeah. excellent excellent so what we're going to do today guys in this video we're uh, we're going to have a look at dave's actual the way he swings the golf club um we highlighted three areas that we generally want to improve number one was the pitching we needed to be more consistent with that yes number two was the driver we see a lot of wild ones with that and then you're putting the sort of short ones we wanted to yeah he said little, little dodgy ones yeah you know the garcia ones on the <laughs> yeah <laughs> so today we're going to have a look at that so we you know we've had a conversation and i'll put some footage up of dave hitting some shots here and what we can see you've got quite a bit of curvature on the golf ball yes yeah we see that Dave's ball actually moves left to right quite a lot in the air you know and you actually described it differently to me when we were chatting you know yeah, I see yeah. everything left but then yeah. it could be different you know not That's played it. a bit through winter it the, could the, be that yeah, yeah. I mean, you know sometimes I'm just a little bit of a hooky uh, you yeah. know or fatty and you know yeah. but yeah today is a little bit to yeah. the right on them a little bit of a cut. so <laughs> yeah. We've had a look at a few things that may be causing this with Dave, and number one was your grip, wasn't it? You know, yes. if we were to analyse Dave's grip, what would you class it as? What was it with your grip when we had a look? Uh, can I say it on camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the best one, Chapter. It wasn't the best one. Um, it was in the palm of the hand, yeah. wasn't it? Even so, though I felt like it was in my fingers, yeah. after watching video, video, video of other people, yeah. not name names. Yeah. Uh, and then when you go home and you practice it yourself and you think okay yeah that that feels how it should be yeah you know and then obviously coming to yourself no yeah. nah, it was wrong, wrong. <laughs> yeah so you know with that is put some limitations on dave and one of the things now if you were to just address this ball for me yeah. like i say we see right. curvature with you and the thing is if i were to throw up a video of dave's swing here what we can see number one is he's getting down to his last parallel point here at the ground we can see that his face lays a little bit open. So as he comes now into impact, the face is looking right of target with the club traveling a little bit left of it. So yeah. as we can see from the face on camera, as you come through, what we see is somewhere where this toe has never been allowed to pass the heel, has it? Yeah. Everything's yeah. been working this way. And we it, saw that this it, arm was it, yeah, buckling back, here, wasn't it? Yeah, big time. So it was like playing cricket. Or something. Exactly, yeah. yeah. If we were to, you know, if you were to just show the uh, little drill I gave you for gripping, basically how you would do that, then we can yeah. we can go from there. No problem. Okay, little grip, little tip of that much give me. Obviously, let's have the club in the fingers this time. I was kind of having it here where it was a bit more in the palm. Yeah. Which was Running not out good, but it, it felt like it was in my fingers. Yeah. By actually moving that, and it's more near the front of my fingers. Yeah. And then wrapping that hand yeah. over, you feel then that you've got the butt in more of the meaty section. Excellent. Rather than in your little V that you have, you know, in your palm. Yeah. Perfect. You know? And if I, I throw up two images, if we've got a, a before and an after of Dave's grip, was as I'm looking at it from the coach's perspective, face up, you can see not much of the back of the hand with Dave here. No, then no. we can see more that we've got the back of the, you know, more of the back of the hand when we've yeah. changed it to this fingery grip. So yeah. definitely a good start there. Yeah. I mean, most people go on about like the knuckles, but for me, I kind of find more of the Sirixen sign that I've got on my glove. Yeah. You know, if I can see that more at the top rather than yeah. say concentrating yeah. on knuckles, yeah, that works more for me. Yeah, definitely. You know? And see, and I think you know that tip of giving you there, holding, actually watching yeah. you put it into the fingers, yeah, it's just yeah. giving you that visual process yeah. all the time, yeah. isn't it? It is. 
you know, and obviously getting out of the habit of the old way, you know, there's been a few times where I've hit a couple and I've, I've still kind of set up and I've gone, no, let's yeah. change that, you know. Yeah, excellent. Get into that habit, guys, you know, it's something that you've got to do all the time. Perfect. Yeah. So from there, you know, we've talked about your release and the way you obviously hold the golf club through impact was causing this curvature. Yeah. So I've given you a drill for impact, uh, yep. a release drill, sorry. Yeah, and a little. Just to try and get feeling something different That's at impact it. and through impact, yeah. isn't it? So if you want to just explain to everyone yeah. on the... Yeah, guys, I mean, it's, it's very similar to like going back to the last video with the chipping that I found. Yeah. You know, let's, let's not try anything too hard. Let's just have a nice little swing backwards. Yeah. So we're kind of just setting up nicely and then just come back a little bit. Yeah. You know, and then as I'm coming down, then trying to flick my wrist around. Yeah. So then we club so if you, downwards. So if you were talking, we afterwards. know we've got the, the face on here. Yeah. You say flick there, is it the yeah. feeling, you know, it, not the biggest fan of that word, is no, it more no, letting no. the toe past the heel, would yeah. you say? So yeah, I would say, yeah. What's your key point in this drill? Well, the key point then is making sure that that is pointed downwards rather than holding up this way. Upwards, yeah. yeah. And were we hitting long shots or small shots with this? No, we were only going oh, 40, 50 yards, yeah. if that, you know, something like that. Okay. You know, it's not trying to leather it, guys. You yeah. know, if, if you try and leather it, it's not going to work. No, we're getting you a know. feeling, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, it's just get that feel all the time. Yeah. And, and just by doing them, you know, it's working the tree. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so yeah. let's see one now. Go through the whole process okay. for me, if you will. Just a nice, smooth one. Okay, so it's getting, yeah. that, getting that club in my fingers, making sure I wrap me, me hand around it. Perfect. Yeah, make sure I've got a little V that's pointing up to my left shoulder. And then just a nice, steady, smooth swing. Lovely. A limited curvature now, you know, before we saw a lot of curvature. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, we're gonna put some shots up of driver as well now. You know, the big thing we saw with Dave's driver was that it did start to move, you know, yeah. aggressively, right? It did, didn't it? yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah. The first few you've seen there, now I'll put a before and an after up here now. So, do you think it's gonna help you this? Yeah, yeah, in fact, if I've kind of implied the same thing as what I've just been doing now into that big stick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's, I'll even get some draw, yeah. you know, which, you know, with the driver, Never see a draw, yeah. <laughs> you know. And, you know, we, we might see some different shots now in practicing, you know, when we do that drill. Yeah. Explaining to you that we wanted to see some go left and seeing them, you know, straight left wasn't yeah. a bad thing. Yeah. was a, a bit, because the first few went left and it was a bit like, oh gosh, sort yeah. of thing. And understanding that that's what we're doing. That's what we want. Yeah, that yeah. face relationship yeah, that's now, it, haven't we? You know, trying to close that, that face up a little bit yeah. before you get into the strike. So we're aiming over that yeah. way. You know. Perfect. Yeah. So let's see a couple of Dave's driver now. We'll see a nice one. We'll, well, we'll see his pre one where he, we see the aggressive slice, and now we'll see one where it's hopefully a little bit better. A bit like that, really. Right, so that has been it. Yep. Have you enjoyed that? You think it's going to be? Yeah, yeah. It, it, such a big eye opener. Yeah, yeah, really is. And Small we, changes. We, it, yeah, I mean, we we've not made a massive one. No, you know, because and there is stuff that we are going to look at stuff. going forwards. Yeah. A few little yeah, things it, that yeah. I've not told you about yet, but <laughs> we're just yeah. going to take it a bit at a time. A we? little bit, yeah. Just as we do these little steps, little step, little step, it makes a big difference out there. Yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah. And that's that's what we need in it, yeah. you know. At the moment it you know, it's all over there before they came to map, but you know, now we've kind of narrowed it up a little bit. Yeah. And I'm getting well on. More consistency, yeah. you know, we've yeah. seen it in the pitch room, hopefully we'll see it in the long game. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be good enough to win the Lynx Golf Cup. That'll be fantastic, it won't it? Be nice. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Guys, if you have liked this video, do give it a thumbs up. Go and follow Dave on social media. Yep. Go and check out Lynx Golf Cup also on social media. Totally great com competition. I think there's a few spots left in it still. So if you're lucky enough to grab one, we'll probably see you there. Yep. Um, guys, as always, do subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Loads more content coming soon. And we'll see you next time with Dave's.
Dave. Oh, no one gave us a name. No. I think there's, there was a couple, there's a, there's a few there? names. The one yeah. was Dave the Raver. My days of raving were long gone, long gone you know. Yeah. So uh, there was a 15 or bus, was there? 15 or bus. That or should we call good, it yeah. 18 and bus? 18 or bus. 18 and bus. Yeah, could or, do that, yeah. We'll, we'll have, decide we'll next more. time, yeah. yeah we'll have right, more. guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon with more videos. Cheers, guys.